Today is another day for an adventure from Valladolid. This time to Ekbalam. Day three started early, but thankfully this time with electricity. I was up at 5 a.m. to work a bit before heading out. Okay, so do we have everything? Swimsuit, towel, sunscreen. Did you put my swimsuit in the backpack? I did. Okay. Okay, last word. It's 10 a.m. We're leaving, and it's already so hot. It's so hot. The sweat is just dripping. Mm -hmm. It only takes about 30 minutes to drive from Valladolid to the Mayan site of Ekbalam, which means black jaguar. We learned our lesson after Chichen Itza and went to the bathroom at the entrance and got an English speaking guide. Older than Chichen Itza. Really? This like dates back from 600 BC. Mm -hmm. The artists found fragments of ceramics that date back from that period. This is an aerial view about this place. We are here between the two walls. Mm -hmm. So this is the main gate, the Obal Palace, the twins, the platform with two stelas, the miniature temple, the ball court, and this is the main building. So when the archaeologists got here in the in the in 1984, the whole the buildings looked like this one, completely covered by the vegetation. Ekbalam is about 12 square kilometers but only one square mile has been excavated. Our guide explained to us how the remaining structures we can't see still remain under thick jungle. Like here, there's another temple they haven't oh, wow. restored. Yeah? So here, as you can see in the city center, there are five entrances. So each one in the four corner points, but on the south, there are two. So this is the first, and the second is in that, in that direction. Mm -hmm. But this one is considered the main gate to the city center. It is believed that one walked backwards to enter the city out of respect to the gods. Lindsay asks our guide about the restoration of the site. For example, the way the archaeologists figure out how was the buildings is like on the buildings they have restored. Uh -huh. We can appreciate the way that the like my ancestors built the temples. Uh -huh. In the core, they used just regular stones, and on the facade is where they used the carved lime stones and the fancy uh, yeah. stones. And they have dif they have different shapes and different sizes. For example, as it does, they number the stones uh -huh. because they found that wall partially collapsed. So they number them, they put uh -huh. the photograph, they remove them, and then they put them back. Uh -huh. And that section has been completely restored. Unlike Chichen Itza, you can climb the two main structures at Ekbalam. One of the first structures you'll see upon entering is the Oval Palace, which is believed to be related to astronomy. We ask our guide about the rules of the game as we wander through the ball game court. So in this one, like it's smaller, so in this team there were about four or five players. Okay. And like the one in Chichen Itza is way bigger. Yeah. So they had bigger teams and bigger games? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So what did they use for a ball? They used their ball made of rubber tree. This ball court used to have rings, uh -huh. and the rings used to be over there where uh -huh. the stones are missing. In this team there is a captain and the captain used to play on the platform and the rest of the team on the center. Uh -huh. So they try to keep the, uh, the rubber ball in constant motion, uh -huh. hitting with the knees, with the hips, with the elbows, no hands. 
but they pass the ball to the captain and he'll try to get the ball through the hoop. Through the hoop. Yeah. And it's game over when one of the captains gets the ball through the hoop. One time? Just one time. But this game there are two theories. They say that the winner is sacrificed or the loser. But until now this we don't know exactly which game. Our guide finally leaves us in front of the largest structure in Iqbalam, known as the Acropolis, which is even taller than Kukulkan and Chichen Itza. The tomb of the Mayan king Ukit Khan Lektok lies inside this Acropolis, and on each side you can find an intricate stucco facade. We climb the 106 steps to the top. What'd you think about that climb? Easier than I thought, actually. Really? It looks really intimidating, but it's actually pretty fast. But I'm out of breath. <laughs> 106 steps. We then take one last stroll behind the Acropolis before making our way to the cenote. The cenote is just one and a half kilometers down a dirt road from Ekbalam. So we have now been to the Tulum ruins, Chichen Itza, and today we went to Ekbalam. And so far, I think our favorite is probably Ekbalam. Yep. They were all cool, but Ekbalam had less people, no tour groups. You could climb the stairs, a lot of shade, a lot of trees. After a quick lunch, we made our way down into the center of the cenote. Finally time to leave and we say goodbye to our new friends. Adios! back to Valladolid. We are back in our apartment. We got a little snack. We got some rambutans and we're just gonna sit on the front balcony for a while and tomorrow we head back to Playa del Carmen. So we'll just see what we can get up to tonight in Valladolid. And so concludes day three of our Yucatan road trip. Click the subscribe button below to see what we get up to tomorrow. Why not?